had a lesson on the different parts of the saddle. We cleaned our tack ready for the tack and turnout competition that would take place during the week. We also learn about the parts of the bridle and the names of the different bits and what they were used for. No attachments, nothing flasher. What's this one on the sheet called? So it's like a covers and those one with a flash attached. Oh, you can do it like that. You can do it like that. Can you see her hair coming off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can do it like that. Then our instructor talked about the tools in the grooming kit and how they were used. You wouldn't want to use a hard brush. This is quite soft. It goes into that. After a quick demonstration of how to pick out a pony tears, we set to work grooming and preparing our ponies to ride. Right. Let's see what you Thank you. Oh my god. Well, you should go back to your head. Did no, I finish that in there? Oh, actually, no, that's surprising. He had it yesterday and he's been chewing all night. Quite surprising. Unless he's just got a new batch. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hi. You know, just a minute, please. Can I clip that? Oh, you need to move the bottom. That's a bit. Bobby was chasing after Blaze last year, and now I'm gonna get a pony chasing after me on Blaze this year. <laughs> Blaze, honest. This is hard, please. Why? Why did you do this to me? Is that too? Okay. 
speed up, speed start up. Even though my mum was helping out this week, I wanted to do as much as I could on my own, but I was still a little rusty with how to put the bridle on. Once we were all tacked up, we headed down to the outdoor arena to do a jumping clip. up and did some flat work. We used a finger of eight to get our ponies thinking, as well as get our own minds working on the changes of rain, diagonals, turns, energy and speed. too early and leaps over the jump. So I need to be ready for anything. friends this week and Pony Club is a great opportunity to meet others who share the love of ponies. I was super excited for the all day hack. shared on a previous blog how I was keen to do my first canter out on a hack. This is really difficult to do on my own out hacking because Blaze would prefer to canter with a herd or follow another horse. drivers are unaware of the 10 mile an hour speed limit stated in the highway code. Yeah. Many of these horses and ponies would be called bumpers, but they are also prey animals 
and the instinct of flight will always be there. Even bomb-proof ponies can be unpredictable when fighting. Passing a horse at 10 miles per hour with a 2 metre distance keeps everyone safe. The all day wood track takes us up a long track and through the local village where we can pick up the path that leads us to the woods. Once we reach the woodland path, we are ready for our first canter. We cantered up the path, trotted on the stone pathway, then made our way into the woods, leaving my mum in the dust. <laughs> I, want, I want to gallop because she actually took a few strides of gallop. I was having to hold back. <laughs> oh, no. oh my goodness, no. How'd you feel, Layla? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did get so many trees? Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Enjoy that canter. I don't really want to do it again now because it's fizzed up. It's what? It's fizzed up. Can't go anywhere when um all the places around them. Do we need dinner? trying to get it again. Oh. After lunch, a few of us wanted to canter again. So our instructor and a couple of other horses went ahead of us to wait by the stone path so that our ponies would stop in the right place. After the first canter, the horses trotted ahead to the next stopping point. And canter, you're off. Go steady! I can't believe I was asked to leave the counter. What an incredible experience. We then headed back, absolutely buzzing. That was really good. Yeah. Did you enjoy that, Layla? Yeah. No more cantering now, just trotting. <laughs> Liz had given me so much confidence. I felt so safe with him.
going. I was able to relax and have so much fun with my friends. That's kind of so with your hugging gift. We were seeing how long we could hold our position up the hill, and Blaze didn't get annoyed by my giggles. He just kept plodding on. Hi there. I'm stuck. <laughs> Full day out, but still managed to have some fun washing the ponies down. <laughs> this is turning into a rock. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> You're getting tired, love. Once Blaze was looking shiny and feeling cool, we headed down to the field with all of his friends. We are still learning how to be good leaders. One distraction could cause our ponies to stop listening to us, especially when their natural instinct is to grab a snack from the tasty food they are walking on. And Blaze loves his food. Blaze then dried himself off in the dust. Although horrifying to any equestrian who has spent time bathing their pony in fancy hair products, dust and dirt acts as a sunscreen and insect repellent, as well as relieving the irritation of wet skin. It's definitely one of the best reasons to buy a black pony. He still looks so pretty. It's not. We started day three with a tack and turnout class, and I wanted to do the plaits myself without any help. My arms are open, so I put my head down. Penny camp is all about learning and trying new things. I'm already tired. <laughs> day three. Oh my gosh. You're doing really good. I decided it was time to try and put the bridle on all by myself. This will take a bit of practice, but Blaze was so good and patient with me, as I'm still learning the best way to do it. Well done, Layla. Oh. Come on. It has. <laughs> But the bit is still in, so you're all right. After walking around a 
and being judged on a clean tap and platting skill, we warmed up in the arena, ready for the cross-country jump. Again, struggling to place himself and had a tendency to stand off the jumps. This basically means that he can jump a stride too early, but that's because he has long strides and I just need to learn how to sit them. because they aren't always the same every time and I'm still learning how to use my body to extend or shorten the strides. Ponies can get a little wild in an open field so he walked them around and had a little candle before taking them over a pole. doesn't quite take things seriously until the pole is raised, but he was stride perfect on our practice jump. Good girl, well done! Then came the uphill skinny jump, looking like a scary horse trap that Blaze had just seen his buddy swerve to avoid. So... <laughs> he definitely took in everything he could over that one. And on the second attempt... Come on. Come on, Ty. Wow. I think he forgot he wasn't a Pegasus. Ended with Blaze coming in second for the Tack and Turnout class. On the last day of camp, we split into teams for the Jim Carner games. The horses and ponies came in all shapes and sizes and some were less experienced than others. is such an important lesson during games because you aren't allowed to use a crop and so communication needs to be clear without being too rough. We did a bit of a swap round to make the teams fair and I think games can bring out your competitive side and you have to keep that under control to protect your pony partner. Especially if they might not be enjoying games as much as you do. 
I really respected some of the older girls for respecting the horses and still had fun. this week, stretching him out using his favourite treats. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and can subscribe to my channel for more pony adventures.